Welcome to the sixth week of Italian cuisine in the world. My name is Viola Buitoni and in collaboration with the Italian Culture Institute in San Francisco, we will be presenting a series of video to explore Italy by pasta. Pasta is the Italian ingredient par excellence. We all love it, we all want to cook it every day or more. So follow us during these five short videos to learn how to incorporate five modern classics in your everyday cooking. Welcome to my kitchen and I will see you on the other side. Today's recipe will feature black truffles and it is inspired by my own native region of Umbria. One of my favorite things about this particular sauce for pasta is that it is one of those that you make while your pasta is cooking. So I just dropped the spaghetti into the boiling water and now I can go ahead and make the pasta. So I have a black truffle, some parsley. I'm going to keep a couple of the cuter leaves for decoration, four anchovy fillets, one garlic clove, just one is fine. One will give you, um, in my opinion, a very good balanced flavor. For this quantity, obviously, if you are a lover of garlic, you should feel free to put more. Last but not least, we're going to be putting in our black truffle. This black truffle is already clean. It came to me like this, so I don't need to do anything. If this had a little bit of earth or dirt around it, what you would do is loosen the dirt with a clean nail brush and then running after super cool, cool cold water while still brushing to get everything out and dry right away with a paper towel. I'm going to cut this in a few pieces. The next ingredient I need is some really good olive oil. Whatever the best olive oil that you can get your hands on, that's what you want to use. Give it a first chop. This is the first grind you want to give it, and now we're going to put some olive oil in. We'll start with a few drops. We're going to mix it with a tiny spatula, tiny food processor needs a tiny spatula. Press it down. We want to mix it a little more because the um, the parsley is still quite big and it might taste a little too herby, so we want to make it a little thinner. So a bit more olive oil. At this point, we're also going to put in some black pepper. You could do red chili flakes if you wanted. I prefer white and black pepper on this one, but you could do the chili flakes if you wanted some spice. We're just going to press it down with our tiny spatula again. Oh my God, truffle is smelling so delicious. One last grind. That's it, our sauce is ready. To toast pine nuts on a stove top, put a little pan over high heat and hover your hand over it periodically. Once your hand hovering over it feels uncomfortable, your pan is ready. So drop the pine nuts into your very hot pan. You want to be around, you don't want to leave. They toast very, very quickly and burn even more quickly if you leave them alone. All you're doing is making little spots of brown around them and turning them for kind of light beige to golden beige. So I'm getting those little brown spots. I'm really smelling them, like the oil is really coming to me. I love it, actually. That's it, we're done. So golden beige, a few brown spots, and our pine nuts are ready. And let's just give them a rough chop. All right, our pine nuts are done. We just want to put them aside. We don't want to uh, mince them, chop them too finely, because we actually like the uh, crunch that they're going to bring to the final dish. So my pasta is almost ready. The spaghetti are probably a couple of minutes away from done. So I want to be ready to assemble them because they have to be eaten right away. So I can go ahead and take the sauce out of the tiny food processor. 
with the tiny spatula, put it straight. So what I like to do is I like to make the sauce first and then taste it and then add salt if need be. Our sauce is done. Our pasta is also ready. Let's do a little trick with the pasta water. Put it in the truffle paste. Just temper it down a bit. Take some time to make sure that the water has melded well with the sauce. Nice and diluted. And now we are ready to add our spaghetti. Taking them out with the magic pasta pot. Let the water go down. Tilt it a bit. Make sure the excess water goes. And we are going to put it in. Okay, so we have our sauce, which was diluted with the pasta cooking water. Our pasta went in. All we have to do now is toss it to make sure that the pasta is well coated with the truffle sauce. Turn your bowl, just keep turning it. Swirl it around. And here we go. Ready for our pine nuts. And then we're going to decorate it with just a few parsley leaves here and there. Today's dish for our exploration of Italy by pasta is spaghetti alla spoletina. Spoletina is one of my favorite sauces from my native Umbria made with black truffles, anchovies, a little parsley, a little garlic, and lots of delicious Umbrian olive oil. Spoletina is a sauce that has many uses. It can go on pasta, of course, but also on gnocchi or on bread or on a frittata, even on a roast. Keep it in your fridge for up to two weeks. Just top it off with olive oil. I'd like to thank the Italian Culture Institute in San Francisco and its wonderful director, Anna Maria Di Giorgio, for lending her support to my project, Italy by Ingredient. I am proud to announce that Italy by Ingredient is going to be a book which will be released in early 2023. To follow the work of the Italian Culture Institute, go to Instagram at IIC San Francisco. You can also find me on Instagram at Viola Buitoni or on my website, violabuitoni.com, to know what is going on with the book and participate in any initiative around it. It's a real honor to be a representative of Italian cuisine for San Francisco in honor of the sixth week of Italian cuisine in the world. Thank you for following our work.